My name is Rooney Castle and uh, I'm one of 200 employees here at Rhino Foods. Rhino Foods is a manufacturer of ingredients for the ice cream industry. So we would make the cookie doughs, the baked brownies, baked cakes that would go to ice cream manufacturers that then are introduced into their process. The concept of using business as a force for good, um, which is the mantra of the B Corp community, is very much in line with sort of who Rhino is and what we've been doing for, for many years. We're a certified B Corp, but our sort of space we've played in before is more around our community and our workers. We've done less around the environment, so this was a chance for us to learn and feel out what it would be like to engage our employees in conversations around the environment and climate change. Over the last couple of years, um, there's been a shift. The B Corp community right now is transforming from just a movement that's growing to a movement that's using the power of its voice and its resources and its people to really affect positive change. Rare has joined us at Rhino today for a workshop. We have participants from across our company. We've got folks from our administrative staff, our sanitation team, our production team, getting together to talk about climate change and how individual rhinos can make an impact. Rare is an international environmental organization that has been working now for more than four decades to help people and communities adopt sustainable behaviors. We think that the narrative that there's nothing that people can do anymore to address climate change in their own lives is both really discouraging and wrong. We identified seven behaviors that if there were a 10% increase in their adoption by the relevant portions of the U.S. population could reduce the U.S. gap uh, under the Paris Agreement by 80%. The behavior-centered design process is a flexible framework for coming up with solutions that reflect the audiences for whom they are designed. So we're really excited to be here with them today working particularly around how they can get their employees involved in reducing food waste both at work and at home. And we know from our analysis that um, reducing food waste is one of the most impactful things that we the people can do to address climate change. If food waste were a country, it would be the third largest emitter of greenhouse gas emissions in the world behind the U.S. and China. So there's really a big opportunity for us to make a profound impact. I'm very much interested in uh, different uh, conversations that we've been getting. Um, to tell the truth, this will have a very uh, big impact on my, on my life because uh, everybody is able to come up with uh, new ideas. So Rare.org is working with a, a cross-section of people in the Rhino Foods community uh, to see how this resonates, uh, what kind of feedback uh, we'll get, how we might be able to adjust this, and then bring something to the full B Corp community that we can share and then companies can use within their own communities uh, to make the change we need to make. Today has been really successful. We've had great employee engagement and participation and we've already started to see solutions emerge early on in the brainstorming process. It has been very, very, very wonderful. This is a focused day on a much bigger and more important topic around spreading the ripples of this day and the learnings of this day out to the broader community because that's what it's really going to take to really move the needle on some of these issues that we're talking about.